All right, we're back for part two of the More Proofs and Young's Geometry series. Uh, again, a quick recap of the axioms. Axiom 1 says that there exists a line in the geometry. Axiom 2 says that each line has exactly three points. Axiom 3 says that no one line contains all the points. Axiom 4 says that given any two distinct points, there's exactly one line between them. And axiom 5 says that given a line and a point not on that line, there exists exactly one line that contains that point but does not intersect with the given line. Proposition 1 said that if there was a point, um, in the, if P was a point in the geometry, then there was a line that did not contain that point. My dog is freaking out, so we're going to pause game. a given point and proposition 3 said that there were exactly four lines through any given point okay and proposition 4 what we're going to prove is that in Young's geometry each line is parallel to exactly two other lines okay <clears throat> so the big idea here is uh, of course, if you're going to have a theorem that says each line is blah, you have to start off with an arbitrary line in the geometry. And this line must contain three points, but for the purposes of our proof, we only need one. We're going to call that point P. And uh, by proposition three, we know that P has exactly four lines on it, one of which is L, so there must be uh, three other lines. And we're just going to pick one of them, and we're going to call this line L prime. Okay. Now L prime uh, has three points on it, and only one of which can actually be uh, on the intersection with L. So there must be two other points, Q1 and Q2. Now, of course, both of these points are not on the line L, so there have to be lines through each of them call those M1 and M2 uh, that are each parallel to L. Now, uh, it is important to note that M1 and M2 are not the same line. Uh, if they were, then both would, uh, then that, that single line would contain Q1 and Q2, but L prime also contains Q1 and Q2. Uh, which would be, so that situation would contradict axiom 4. So if otherwise, axiom 4 contradicted. Okay, now suppose there were an M3. Now if there were a, a line M3, then... Uh, that were that was also parallel to L. So we've shown that there are at least two lines that are parallel to L. We want to show that there are exactly two. So if M3 was parallel to L, then uh, P is a line that's not, or is a point that's not on M3, and therefore there has to be a unique line um, through P that is parallel to M3, and that would be the line L, of course. Um, <clears throat> But um, then there must be some uh, some line connecting P to some point on M3. So uh, the line L prime must intersect M3. Okay. <clears throat> And if that is the case, then M3 must contain Q1 or Q2. But M1 and M2 are those unique lines that are, that are parallel to L that contain Q1 and Q2. So M3 must not exist. Okay. And I feel like I've missed a few details in that, uh, which is why it's always a good thing that we are going to write a careful proof 
and uh, we'll see if I missed something. Okay, so we're going to let L be a line in the geometry. And let P be a point on L. Now remember, we're guaranteed that L contains th exactly three points, so it's not uh, in any way unjustified to say that there is one of them. So we'll let P be one of them. By proposition four, there are three lines through P that do not um, well, that are not L. Okay? So let L prime be one of these lines. Okay. Now since L three has since L prime has exactly three points on it. Cannot share more than one point with L. I think this is a detail I missed earlier. Since uh, L prime cannot share more than one point with L, this Q1 and Q2 up here must be lines that are not uh, must be points that are not on L. Okay. Since L prime has exactly three points on it and cannot share more than one point with L, there exist points Q1 and Q2 on L prime that are not on L. Okay. Now, since Q1 and Q2 are not on L, each has a line that passes through it that does not intersect with L. That's guaranteed by axiom 5. We're going to call these lines M1 and M2 that pass through Q1 and Q2, respectively, that are not on the line L. Or, is that how we said it? No, we said that they are, that are parallel to L. Uh, let's go back and check and make sure we're using the, the right language for Young's geometry. If a point does not lie in a given line, then there exists exactly one line in that point that does not intersect with a given line. Okay, so Q1 and Q2 do not intersect with L. All right. Now, uh, we note that Q1, that... Uh, M1 and M2 must be distinct. Else there would be two lines M1 and L prime that both contain Q1 and Q2, violating axiom 4. Okay, so we have 
Uh, M1 and M2 are distinct lines that are that do not intersect L. Uh, and now we're going to suppose that there is a third line that also does not intersect L. Now, since uh, P, since M3 does not intersect with L, that means that P, the point P, is not on M3. L is the unique line passing through P that does not intersect sorry for the spelling that does not intersect M3 okay <clears throat> Now, where were we? Where were we? We have M3, uh, and we have uh, a point P not on M3, and L is the unique line containing P that doesn't pass through M3. And now our claim is that the line there has to be that the line L prime, ah, uh, because it contains P and it is not the line that is parallel to M3, it must contain uh, some point of M3. So since L prime is not L, and L prime passes through P, we must have that L prime, or rather must be the case that L prime intersects M3, okay? Uh, which means that M3 contains either Q1 or Q2. Now this violates the uniqueness of M1 and M2. Okay, therefore there are exactly two lines that are parallel to L um, in the geometry. And we're done. Uh, I apologize for the interruption earlier. Uh, one of the uh, unfortunate facts about the, these pen casts is uh, they are they are one take only. I can stop in the middle of them, but uh, I cannot um, unsay what has been said. So I apologize if I got a little too personal with uh, stories about my dog. Uh, we'll see you or. We'll talk again in part three.